Hello and welcome. I had an itch to play Colbert again, so I did. And here we are in a fully tier 10 battle on the map Trap. And oh, Shimakaze gave me a smoke screen. That is very nice of you, Shimakaze. I will very readily use it. Unfortunately, this fully tier 10 battle has an aircraft carrier. And because of that, I think uh, the Shimakaze didn't really mean to give me a smoke screen. I suspect it was more of a prestige or stats type of situation. You see, you would expect the smoke screen to go from somewhere here to the cap zone. In that case, you know, I would follow the Shemakaza and do all of those things, but it ends before the cap zones behind an island, which isn't exactly something that we really need. But hey, I'll take it. This, this means that suddenly I have an island all around me, although it's invisible. Still, I hear that smoke screens make you invulnerable, so let's treat it as such. And wait, 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 wait. is that is that the conqueror going to the middle of the map? I mean, 15.5 kilometers. We still need 1.5 uh, kilometer closer. Four, three, two. Okay. It'll take some time for the conqueror to get close, but hey, somehow there's another battleship. Oh, Yoshino. Yoshino! Come on, CV, please spot the Yoshino now. She's literally in the middle of the map. It's a super cruiser. How hard can it be to spot it? It's it's ginormous. It's the size of a battleship. Come on. Also, what the hell is it up with the battleships going to the middle of the map? I mean, last game last time I played Colbert, a battleship went to the middle. A Grosso Kofes decided to sail into the middle of the map. And this time, a conqueror is going to the middle of the map. Hey, aircraft carrier, can you spot things? Please? Please? Anytime now? There, there, there's literally a battleship in the middle. Okay, fine, I'll do it myself, since the smoke screen's gone. Okay, just, just to note, those who actually take this seriously, I don't fault the CV for not spotting here. I understand the CV is busy doing other things. It is completely understandable. I'm just saying this for effect, okay? Anyway, let's continue shelling on the Yoshino. And, uh, oh, oh, I perman knocked out the Yoshino's torpedo tubes. Permanently. Do you know what permanently means? It means forever. You see, that torpedo tube will be gone forever. Yoshino goes into the next match and the torpedo tube will be gone. She will never get it back again. Never, ever, ever, ever. That's what permanent means. Anyway, somehow I can still fire over this island. Oh, there's another bit of island they can't fire over. Okay, so let's just stop so that the front guns go on one side and the rear turret... No, damn, I actually overshot that. So I guess I might as well just keep reversing. And there goes the Yoshino. That's, um... I'd like to say I'm surprised, but not really. Th there's a reason people usually don't push so early, especially heavily. But actually the reason usually is because nobody gives you support, or at least you get very little support. And to be honest, they did get not that much support. Yeah, they have two destroyers there, but the only other supporting ship is a battleship. Whereas there is a battleship, a cruiser, another cruiser, you know, and potentially another battleship firing on them. Anyway, Conqueror is behind the island now, so I might as well push with Hydra, of course, since there is a Grozovoy in that smokescreen over there. And I hear Colbert is pretty good against destroyers at close range. I guess we'll find out in a bit. Any minute now. Any minute now. Okay, I'm spotted. I, I think it's the daring. So we might as well try throw a salvo over there. This can complicate things a little bit though. Krozovoy might have torpedoed me. Although I suppose I would know due to the hider. Also, what the hell was that pink light? Look at that island. Why is it glowing pink? Uh, or purple, sorry. I'm gonna keep away from it. That looks dangerous. And yeah, turns out people were right. Uh, it, you know, Colbert is pretty good against destroyers. <laughs> Goodbye, Grozovoy. So much for a tier 10 destroyer, huh? Oh, Conqueror. At six kilometers. Last time this didn't go so well with an island. I'll try to not hit the island this time. Oh, never mind. Thank you. This 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 helps. Okay. Now let's go into the B cap because why not? The only ships over here on this side of the map by the enemy are the Holland and the uh, Daring. Both are ships that I am rather confident against, okay? Rather confident. CV seems to be 
aggressing over here, but I think we're going to we're going to be okay. As long as like big battleships don't fire upon us. Hydra is going off in seven seconds, which is going to be somewhat complicating the matters. Oh, okay. Torpedoes coming? Fine, let's dodge them. Shouldn't be too difficult. Just try not to get wedged between the torpedo and the island. Hey! We're fine, and now let's keep going. Because apparently the daring is still- Oh, there she is. Hello, daring. Okay, she used a smoke screen. Oh no, a smoke screen. What will we ever do? Maybe we'll simply just keep shooting because we have one trillion DPM. Okay, slightly less than one trillion, okay? Slightly. CV dropped on me, so let's dodge those torpedoes too. It's not that difficult, just turn into them. Come on, Daring, stop reversing. Stop making this so difficult. Thank you. By the way, did you see that CV dodge? I dodged those CV torpedoes like they were nothing. Well, um, the game's looking pretty good so far. It's... Oh, the game's over already, and we won. Well then. Well, well, well. Hey, I sank two ships, I shot down 19 planes, and I did 62k damage. Considering this game ended in uh, 30 seconds, it's pretty good. And 1900 base XP in a 7-minute game. 1900 in a 7-minute game. I bet some of our teammates didn't even properly get into position or just got into position and the game was already over. We didn't lose a single ship. A flawless victory. Damn. I, I guess the push really didn't work out for the enemy team this time. It really didn't work out. I'm sorry guys, but uh, I guess props for trying or something? So, wait. Did almost all the damage to a tier 10 destroyer, then most of the damage to another tier 10 destroyer, and then some more damage. Damn, I guess that makes sense why we've got so much XP. So, let's quickly go over the commander skills and upgrades, because people might be curious yet again. So, obviously priority target, adrenaline rush, then basic firing training, then concealment expert, then superintendent, then demolition expert, and last survivability expert. Now... Somebody recommended last stand, but I don't really need it because of this upgrade. Steering gears makes minus 80% time when your steering gears repair time, which means that if my steering gears break, they're broken for 6 seconds. Then obviously the reload upgrade, then the propulsion mod, then the aiming systems modification. So the propulsion mod and the uh, steering gears are actually the reason why the ship feels so maneuverable. I mean, look, without this, right? My rudder shit is 9.2 seconds. That isn't nearly as maneuverable. But with the Great Rudder Shift, this ship is really nimble. Then aiming systems and special engine boost upgrade. If you don't have that one, get one. And then main arts modification one. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the Patreon on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support. And I hope I'll see you guys next time.